with a North America DLC already present in Frontier's other hit game, Planet Zoo. What could a potential North America DLC look like for Jurassic World Evolution 2? We will be going to different parts of North America and seeing what new species, variants, and maps we could be seeing for this hypothetical expansion. Our campaign would revolve around us going to different parts of Northern America and building brand new facilities to house multiple North American species and bring back new extinct North American species. Although we already have a lot of North American species, there is still a lot of fan favorites left to be added for Jurassic World Evolution 2. One of the most famous animals from North America that has yet to be represented in Jurassic World Evolution 2 is the Utah Raptor. Many people, including myself, thought that we could have received the Utah Raptor in the Feathered Species Pack. I myself personally was hoping for the Utah Raptor to be included in that DLC, but instead we got the Sinusoraptorix. Now the Sinusoraptorix is a really great species, and I do love it. But of course, it, I was kind of sad that we did not receive the Utah Raptor. But of course, I'm still rooting for this animal to make it into Jurassic World Evolution 2. Another animal that we have yet to see from North America is the Ineosaurus. The Ineosaurus is a very unique looking ceratopsid. Having a uniquely angled horn, this animal is nothing that we have currently in game. And the Jurassic World Alive variant gives it a unique red coloring to make it stand out when compared to every other ceratopsid in that game. This animal is one of the more fan favorite ceratopsids from North America and would honestly be a really nice addition to have for our parks. Now, for our, another hadrosaur that we could see could be the Lambiosaurus. Having a very unique looking crest, this animal is one of a kind when compared to other hadrosaurs. This animal is honestly one of the more cooler looking hadrosaurs and would honestly stand out when compared to the others as this animal had a very uniquely designed crest. Another animal that you could see from North America could be the Ornithomimus. If this animal were to be added, this would be our first feathered ornithomimid. Currently, all our ornithomimids are currently non-feathered. They all look pretty similar, especially when you compare something like the Arche ornithomimus to the Struthiomimus. If Frontier were to take inspiration from the Jurassic World Alive design, then this animal would stand out immensely. And of course, we always need more feathered dinosaurs for our game. But now that we've spoken on new species, how about we speak on some old ones? Jurassic World, the game variants for our other species such as the T-Rex, Triceratops, Troodon, and many more, would honestly all be great additions for this game. There's a lot of liberty when it comes to these skins and would honestly be a really cool looking design when compared to the other skins we have in game. A following tradition on our previous continental packs, we would obviously need some new maps. As we already have a Canadian map and a United States map, I do think we should at least receive one of the more important North American countries. Mexico has a lot of different terrain to be able to utilize and would probably be resorted to a desert map or possibly an arid map which could introduce a brand new biome. Another map that we could see could be the opposite of a Mexico map, being Greenland. As this map would be a more mountainous region covered with both snow and grass, this map would stand out when compared to the other maps as it would be a mixture of two different types of biomes. As we lack variety for our snowy maps, I definitely do think we should receive an Alaska map for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Being a, basically a, a barrenless wasteland, this place could honestly have a really cool atmosphere and environment when compared to the rest of the maps and could possibly even have glaciers around it. Cuba is another map that we could be seeing. Being a more tropical map, this map would probably be similar to the other tropical maps that we currently have in game, such as Isla Nublar and Isla Sorna. Now the last map that I would pick would be a more urban styled map. New York would be the perfect place to choose. Being filled with nothing but buildings, this map would honestly give us a more urban feel and would allow us to be able to see a brand new type of environment and map when compared to the others. We would never would have been actually be able to build in the city, which would be a brand new take and honestly really spice up things for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now the final thing we could see could be North American inspired decorations. The architecture of, of North America could honestly take a more urban approach or futuristic approach. As we have yet to see a more urbanized building set for Jurassic World Evolution 2, I feel like this would be a good addition. If we were to build a map in New York, then I feel like urbanized buildings would be the way to go. This would be similar to a, a zoo's style, would make the park feel more in place, especially if it is centered in a major city. There's a lot of creativity that could come into, the dif into these different buildings, especially when it comes to viewing galleries and amenities. But that's it for me. Would you want a North America DLC? What animals would you want to be included in that? Le please let me know down in the comments. And if you think I deserve it, definitely consider liking and subscribing. I would definitely appreciate it. But I will see you guys next time.